Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy on a beautiful day here at Zoo Montana, and you know, spring is on the way. We're very excited about that, but sometimes spring does bring some things we don't want to talk about, floods. And I'll tell you what, flooding is rampant around here. It means it's everywhere right now, and a lot of communities have been affected, a lot of people have been affected. And what happens is these rivers, they get all these big ice blocks jammed in that river, the water backs up and causes flooding. And we even got some flooding here at the zoo. Now, we were very fortunate that it did not affect too much here at the zoo, just made a real big mess for us and closed down some of our trails. Good news, animals are safe. But I want to give you an idea of how powerful and how high the water got here at the zoo. You can see behind me, look at this bridge. This is the bridge you guys walk over when you go to see our wolves. The water was so high, it was almost touching the bottom of that bridge. So where I'm standing right now was under very, very fast moving water. And it was scary because we didn't know how much higher it was going to get. It could have washed out the bridge. It could have got, of course, into the animal exhibits. Good news is we were ready here and we have a lot of really good protocols and policies in place to move animals if we have to. But as that water was rushing down, there big logs were coming out and it actually washed right over where I'm at. And follow me real quick, I wanna show you something. If you guys are familiar with the zoo, you know we have this nature trail here. Look at this, it's not a nature trail anymore, it's a new river. And that water goes all the way down there, goes around the corner and covers the trails at the zoo. And the water was so powerful that we have these big bench logs that you can see it way down there. It picked those things up and pushed them all the way down the trail. It was crazy to see. Now, the one thing I do wanna mention is believe me, I get it that floods are terrible and they cause damage. However, there can be some benefit to floods, especially at a place like this, because all of this water that rushed here, it got all this grass wet and all that area, those banks all wet and brought in new nutrients and good soil. So this is gonna be really helpful in the spring and summertime for new trees and plant, plants to grow. It may have actually washed out a, a couple of bad trees called the Russian olives. And so here at the zoo, the flooding, even though it caused us a real pain and it's going to be a lot of work to clean it up, it's kind of a good thing. And so just keep that in mind that sometimes bad the things that we think bad, they might have some good to it. Although, believe me, I get it. If your house is underwater, never a good thing at all. But hey, come on out. Check this out because we're going to be pumping this water soon. So if you want to come out and see it, you got to come out now and check it out before we do indeed clean it up. But until next time, guys, I am Jeff, their nature guy, excited for spring. And I hope you are too. So hopefully we'll see you out here at the zoo real soon.